Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I have a message today for Taurus, a kind of a funny message. <laughs> and uh, to let you know how this works, I've asked my guides, who apparently today have quite a sense of humor, I've asked my guides in spirit to bring a message through the cards that's going to be deeply beneficial and helpful for you this week as you navigate what's going on in your world. And if you're new to the channel, I strongly encourage you to subscribe so that you can stay in contact with this high vibration information every week. I also wanted to welcome you and know that, you know, obviously that's optional. If you don't feel compelled, don't do it. And if you're returning, I'm so glad to see you again. I deeply appreciate your presence and I'm so grateful that you're here. Let's get started with your reading because like I said, it's pretty funny. So we have the Prince of Pentacles energy that the universe gives you this week. And so this is definitely the energy of, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we are staying right here. This Prince of Pentacles is very reluctant to move. In fact, his horse is kind of not moving. He doesn't even really want to be seen. So the universe is clearly saying to you, this is a time to hold your ground, not to go anywhere. And also to kind of play your cards a little close to your chest. Um, just to kind of keep things a little bit hidden and, and a little bit to yourself. Um, you know, at the same time, I kind of feel that this is just a comical image. It's like he's, he's so afraid. He's got all the things. He's got sword. He's got shield. He's got nothing to be afraid of. But he's also just kind of like, mm. So it's almost like you don't want to show your face this week. Now, what we've got is the Prince of Cups, Princess of Cups. And this is also funny to me because... This is like a wishing and a waiting card. It's almost like, oh, oh, I hope my prince will come. But he's like, uh, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I just find this really funny. So this is, you know, you're kind of wanting to turn inwards into your emotions and to really kind of savor the way you feel. And I, I feel very strongly that that's what's going on. Rather than taking action, rather than going anywhere, you're just kind of getting, getting lost in that world of feeling. Now, the next scene, and I'm saying scene because I feel like I'm watching a movie. These cards are so funny for you, um, for us, really, because, you know, I'm a Taurus, too. We've got the Four of Cups over here. She's, like, over it, right? She's done. <laughs> We've got the Nine of Cups, who is, it's almost like he's watching this other card. He's, like, watching the show, and he's got his food and drink around him. So, like, if this was now, he'd have his popcorn and soda, but... It being back then, it, he's got his ale and fish. And he's watching these, these kids kind of play this competitive game where everyone's trying to get the upper hand. So it's kind of, this spread is showing a little bit of, trying to shed a little bit of comedic energy, a little lightness on struggle and conflict. You know, this, this side of you, the emotional side of you has gotten so worn out, wishing and waiting for that prince to come. And it's not just prince. I mean, this is prince of pentacles. So this could be money, opportunity, job, promotion, um, could be even a partner, a grounded kind of earthy partner. We're like waiting for this plan to happen, but this plan is so reluctant to move. And so the emotional part of us that was at one point getting lost is just kind of like, eh. I'm over it. I don't even want to look. I'm, I'm done. So it's almost like you exhaust yourself emotionally. And what's left is this guy just watching these kids in conflict. And the funny thing is, is like, what are they going to win? Like, they're going to win maybe, oh, I won the game of, of push other people with sticks around. It's not really a big thing they're going to win. And so they're getting themselves all worked up and all fighting over something that doesn't really matter very much. And so this nine of pentacles, I'm sorry, nine of cups is saying to you, okay, what's really there? What's really there? What do all of these nine cups mean to you? What's this fish mean to you? It's saying there's nothing outside of you that you really need. What you need is right in front of you on this table. Your cups are more than full. Your plate is more than full. You've got more than enough that you need. There's nothing to strive for. And I, it's funny because I feel like the minute that this card is embraced, the minute that the fullness of all of these blessings are embraced, 
He's gonna move that damn shield away from his face and he's gonna start moving towards this Prince of Cup, Princess of Cups because what she desires is flow. And what this is is stagnant, non-motion. But there's something in us that is causing the universe to respond with that stagnant energy because there's something in us that's either not trusting the flow or not grateful for the flow, not feeling blessed with the flow. Kind of like her. So she's got these four cups at her possession. Um, they don't seem to be filled with water, but she does have this one standing up in the green space. So she's got a protected one. So she doesn't believe that she's capable of receiving the flow either. Yet there's this cup that's standing here. And if we had all these cups together, all the standing cups together, that would be 10. And 10 is the number of completion in the tarot. And the 10 of cups card is a lovely card, which of course I didn't draw for us. So maybe next time. <laughs> So, you know, it's really an interesting story about accepting, accepting several things. Accepting that the universe has its own timing and for some reason right now it's acting like the bashful and reluctant suitor. That it wants to come find us, but for some reason it's just not. And it has nothing to do with us. But what we need to do is stay trusting and stay in the flow and actually stay appreciative of the stuff that fills our cups and makes our plates full. And, um, you know, uh, this, is, this is me speaking as a fellow Taurian. Sometimes it's really hard because I feel like there's always something more that I could be striving after. There's something else that I need to grab. There's something, there's just, there's a lot more things I could be doing and ought to be doing. And I'm not happy just to sit there and say, well, I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for that. And I'm the grateful fairy. Like, I just don't feel like doing that. But the funny thing is, is that the universe can only respond to what's inside. So if I'm filled with this feeling of striving, like what I want is just beyond my reach, the universe is going to make that true. And then I'm going to get frustrated and I'm going to want to check out like this lady. And this happens quite a lot, right? I'm going to get, I'm going to get frustrated, check out. But on those rare times where there's actually where there's enough time spent in gratitude and there's actually the realization that, you know what, I have just about enough that I can handle. I have exactly the, the right amount of things. I'm no longer in conflict with myself. I'm not fighting with myself in this play game anymore of, Ugh, I need more, I need more. Um, it actually just comes to me. It's like, like attracts like. The feeling of fullness attracts more feeling of fullness. Whereas before the feeling of striving attracted more unattainment. So the feeling of attainment attracts more attainment. And there's just, again, this funny feeling. It just, it feels funny when I look at this. He's like, I'm going to watch the show of people play acting, of people play fighting because it's not really serious. It's not really serious, this fight we're having with ourselves. It's not really serious, the things that our ego is telling us. And there's a reason why this prince is, is feeling this way, you know? Maybe he's not feeling confident. Maybe he's worried. Maybe it's better for him to stand guard and not go anywhere right now. Whatever it is, it has nothing to do with us. But what we get to do is trust the flow. I love how these two cards here blend together with their colors, the red into the red. So there is the presence of heart. There is the presence of passion. Uh, there's just, you know, please don't succumb to the frustration and the, the apathy <laughs> very much with this card. So I'm getting my signal to wrap it up. So I'm going to do so. If you have questions or you want to reach out in the comments, I always love to hear from you. And I also invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one readings over Zoom. And um, I also have a Phoenix Path program for those of you that are striving to know your soul better, awaken to your soul, and really follow its calling. There's more support for you in that program. So I look forward to seeing you next time and have a great week.